guys, it's me, Andrea Stever. I'm coming on to do a quick tutorial on how I kind of the process of how I do my art tiles. Um, I was giving them out for a little bit as either art tiles um, that they can use on their own projects as an embellishment, or you can take and punch holes in them, add charms, um, whichever you would like. So let's see. So all it is is you need some chipboard, some either scrap paper. You can start with a blank canvas so you can ink on them, do whatever you'd like. I generally just use um, what's in my stash and it's a good way to use up your little itty bitty scraps, guys. And it's a quick and easy thing. And so I use my scraps and I also use a bunch of um, littler stamps or things that I think would make a nice background on my art tiles. But you can use pretty much anything. If you're doing a junk journal, you can add little, you know, make them into little embellishments for it. That would be awesome. Um, if you have coffee drinkers, you could, you know, use little coffee cups and little sayings that those have. Um, but today I want to make some to take and use as embellishments, not so much as the key rings. So what I'm doing is I just want a little bit of color in the background. So this is a piece of um, the T Prima Tales of You and Me scrap that I have, and I hate throwing anything away because the papers are expensive. So what I do is I just um, take my leftover piece of chipboard and I put two little marks. And then you take your paper cutter or paper trimmer. How's that? Trimmer. We'll, we'll use the word trimmer. And you put it in on them two little lines and just cut both ways. And that way there you have a piece that will border out your piece of chipboard that you're using. Because I like to leave a little black border around you. If you're using the brown, you can always go around with a marker. Or um, some people like the brown. It's fine. You don't have to. You can bring your paper all the way to the edge if you'd like. All right, so that's the first step is doing that. So what I want to do is cut a couple of these out. All right, so basically I'm just going to cut up a couple of these here so I can get more than one done at a time here. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit disorganized, guys. I am new to um, making tutorials, and um, I, I really love to share what I do, but sometimes it's hard because um, the way I craft, I just go with whatever I am feeling at that time. There's really no set way that I do things. Um, it's just all in how I want my stuff. So, all right, so we'll go with that one. So we have two there. Let me see, will this fit one of these? Hmm, you know what will make it fit? How's that? What I do is, I don't use my trimmer. I just take a pair of scissors if I, and I trim it down by hand. So that way there I have a little border still around. All right, so we'll go with those three for now. And the next step would be to glue these down. So. I use glossy accents for that because it helps keep it stuck to the tile that I'm making. So what I do is I just run a bead of this across the edges. You want to get the edges really good and then zigzag in the center just so that way there um, your edges are not going to curl up or peel off and then you just take and you put it where you want it on your paper and get a little bit of wiggle room with this 
with the glossy accents as well. All right, so I got that. Don't worry if anything leaks out because you're going to be covering these with the glossy accents um, in the end anyways. That's how you get the gloss effect over the top. And it helps seal in your work that you made. All right. So. Someone did that one. Let's do another one. So I take and I just go across the edges. Zigzag it. Place it down. They already look pretty. They're not even stamped on yet. I'm just pressing it. And then I'm going to take my bone folder, guys, and just go over it. Just so you know that the edges are all tacked down. Alright, sorry about the mess. I am a messy crafter, guys. I am a very messy crafter. But that's alright, because I know where everything is in my mess most of the time. Oops. Blooper number one. Gotta love it. Okay, so... And don't worry because you can always like you can always trim your paper like I don't that has a little bit too much black for me so I'm just gonna take my scissors there's many different ways of doing these too you don't have to glue them down first this is just how I do it guys you can do your stamped image on it first and then glue it on but I prefer to stamp directly on it all right Next step, guys, let me cover this up so we don't dry out. And I'm going to use my um, Sepra by Color Philosophy by Prima. You don't have to use this one. You can use your Tim Holtz um, Distress Inks are fine. And I use a makeup wedge. I use what is cheap. <laughs> and then I just take and I ink up all my edges. I like making them look a little bit vintage. These would be great in um, as an embellishment if you're not going to turn them into a key ring. You can use these as book terms. You can use them in your junk journals as an embellishment on a page, on a nice doily or something like that. There's many different ways you can use these. So, instead of buying the stickers and buying the embellishments, why not make some of your own with what you would have thrown away normally? Most people just throw away their scraps. The makeup wedge um, is a little bit messy, I will tell you that. Okay. I am just going around the edges of these tiles here. And you can use as much or as little as you like. It's all a personal preference, pretty much, guys. All right. Yeah, this makeup sponge, I think, is had. I'm going to have to pull out a, a new one soon. But this is just to show you guys how I, how I do this. So usually it's not as messy, so... I'm going to have to get a different one. Okay. Just close that up. Yeah, that one's had it, so we'll get rid of that. All right. Let me just lift this up. Take a couple of layers of these off so we have a somewhat clean area here. Alright guys, so now what you are going to do is stamp. You take any of your little stamps that you may have. I am going to be using this collection, um, collection today. Um, this one is Artful Collection. It's a hot off the press stamp set. I believe I got it from Paper Wishes online there. 
Um, and what I use is I use the Momento because sometimes I like to use my um, alcohol inks with them. And this is a dye. It's a fade resistant dye. And I'm using Tuxedo Black. And when you're using the cling stamps, you want to make, don't press down real hard when you put it on your piece because it will smush out your pattern. All right, so I'm just going to place it. Make sure the whole thing is stamped. And voila, we got Let Your Dreams Take Flight. I'm going to make a couple of these guys because I want to make them for either a project or a friend mail. Okay. Yeah, I like the flowers in the background on that paper. It's really pretty. Okay. So, got that. Now I think I want to add some butterflies. Because I love butterflies. Alright. So I got a little itty bitty butterfly on there. I'm just going to add it. Just randomly wherever. You know, it doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. And then I take, I want a bigger one on there as well. So, I am just playing. That's all this is, is playing, guys. Don't worry about messing it up. It's art. It's your art. Have fun with it. Okay, so those are all stamped on there. Now, um, hmm, maybe I'll add on this one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I got this little swirl. I just want to add little pieces of it, I think. Like behind the butterfly. Like there. And there. See how I did that? I just stamped a little itty bitty swirl. Just something. You can use little pieces of whatever. Like if you only want a little piece of something, you stamp just the edge. You know. Just playing. That's all I'm doing. Okay. So there. We got some little swirls. Let me see. I just lightly stamp here and there. Just plan. Hmm. I just want to add some here and there. So, then the next step, okay, I'm done tinkering on that with the stamps, I think, for now. So, I'm going to put that there, and, let me see, clear some of that off. Alright, so now what I would do, if this is going to be, um, I'll take this one. Say you want to make this into a key you know, something that you can have a dangle on or a charm for a book. So you, you just take your small end of your punch on your crocodile. And poke a hole in the top. And if you want charms on it as well, you can always just add another hole at the bottom. So now I have a place for jump rings to sit in. So if I want to turn that into a key ring later I can. These I want for embellishments themselves. So put this away and I'll show you what I do. I take my glossy accents and 
This well, is where you get to play and add some things, elements to it. And I just add a little bit in the centers of my butterflies. And then I'm going to take these little itty bitty strands of pearls here because they're real tiny. And I'm going to cut in between each one because they're all connected. Because I want to add them to my butterflies. So I'm just going to cut into each one here. So I have enough. All right, now you can use tweezers. I don't know how well this is going to work for me today because my hands are not doing very well. Okay, and I'm trying to bring this up to you guys so you can see what I'm doing. And then you place it on your butterfly. Let's see. Okay, come on off. There you go. Just place it where you want it, and then I usually just press it down gently. All right, and now we have that. So we got to do the little butterfly. You can use gems as well. You can use anything you'd like, honestly. Um, it's all in what you have in your stash. I try to use what I have without having to go out and buy it. Makes my life a lot easier. I don't want to lose that pearl. All right. Well, it's working a little bit with the tweezers. My hands are just so bad today. Arthritis, it's been sleeting all morning. Alright, so we have that all decorated. Now what I would do is I would take and go around this, just the corners of my piece. Because I want to add a little bit of glass microbeads to Give it a little bit of flair and a little bit of texture. So I'm going to take a bowl and I got a little tube of micro beads here. And I'm going to place it down in my bowl and just sprinkle those over the spots that I um, put the glossy accents. This way here the bowl catches everything that I spilt. Just shake off the extra. All right, and see, it adds a nice little dimensional texture to it. Okay, take off those. I should have waited until. Um, okay, I just ended up getting. Oh, I see a little bit in the corner that didn't get covered that I want covered. Let me see if I can. Dip it. There. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. So, um, that is how I make my art tiles. Um, what I normally do after, after I'm done with this, like on my butterflies, I like the wings on them. Sorry if I'm moving all over, guys. I'm not good at tutorials. I am trying my hardest here. Um, I like my butterflies to have a little, a little glitz or shine, a shimmer to them. So I use my Wink Stella on my wings. Just to add some shimmer. You can add shimmer to your swirls, to your little stars, um, in your saying. To make it look more like a galaxy background. It'll add, once it's glossed over, you'll see the shimmer in it. I don't know how well this camera will pick it up for you guys, but. All right, so that's all I want on that one. Here, I will pre-do this one. So all I have to do is add my pearls. Okay. Add a little bit here and there. It's all in what you want, pretty much. I did this video last night, and my battery died, and now I'm redoing it for you guys. That's dedication, because it's hard for me to even want to uh, 
do a tutorial because I get very nervous on camera here. So, all right. So why don't we put the pearls on there too? I might as well, right? I was trying to keep this quick for you guys. If you have any questions, though, please feel free to ask. And if you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe um, and let me know in the comments that you did. And I would appreciate that. That'd be awesome if you could do that for me. Um, and don't forget to click the like button. I always, I always try to when I watch everybody else's, so that way they're, they get, they know that it's worth even doing the tutorial. I'm, I will get better, guys. I promise. Um, I am very new to doing this. Normally I just play here in my room and then upload what I done. Alright. So there, those are on there. Might as well add my little beads. I hope you can see what I'm doing and I'm not out of camera. Alright. I'm just playing, 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 playing. I love to play. And they do, they come out so pretty. Normally, guys, I would wait until the, the glue in the center where I added my little pearls. But that's all right. So we got two of them. Okay. So we're done with all that. Um, I can show you how I seal them because they're pretty much... That's pretty much what I want to do with these ones. Okay. Now this one I can't hold it and do it at the same time, guys. So I will do my best here. Hopefully I am going to be in camera. What I do, guys, is you start at one end and you just run a bead all the way down and you just start filling it in with the glossy accents over the inside. I always start from the outside and work my way in. And I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Just squeezing the glossy accents so there's like a bubbled layer over the top of it. to be this way so I can start filling it in on this end. So all I'm doing is squeezing uh, glossy accents over it. Sorry if I'm quiet guys. I'm not trying to be. I am just concentrating on what I am doing right now. So I don't mess it up on you. Just have fun, guys. You know, don't take it so serious. It's just, you know, a fun, easy way to take and use up your scraps that you have in your stash or in your drawers. Pull them out. Play. Stamp them. You know, add them to your pieces. Why not make your own embellishments? Give them as gifts in your pocket letters or your um, loaded bags or flip books. I think they would make, I think they would actually love to have a homemade piece. I know I do. I love homemade items from my friends here on YouTube. Um, it means a lot to me because it means they took the time to make me something. Which shows me a lot. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm sorry guys if this is not the best video on how to do this glossy accents. It's hard to make sure your hands and stuff are out of the view, but I got to hold it or it will. Now, 
Um, I think that is, I want to add a little bit right here. Now sometimes, I don't know if there is one in here or not, but sometimes you'll get like a tiny air bubble. Um, you can take a pin and pop it or, uh, or you can flick the back and sometimes the air, air bubbles will come out that way too. Now I can see a little indent right there, so I must have. Just going to add a little bit right there. My hands are black from the ink and the chipboard, guys. All right, I missed this whole edge. I'm going to make sure I get my edges really good because that's what's going to seal your paper onto your tile for you. Okay. Come on. All right. That is it, guys. That is the art tile that'll dry clear. Um, so don't worry about that because that does dry nice once it's dry. Okay. That is my. That's one of them. And I want to make this video too long, guys. But I got some over here. Like this one is the coffee cup. And instead of coloring in the heart on here, I took and used one of my um, gems that I had in my stash. These I'm going to, I'm just going to make up like four of them as little gifts that they can use on their projects. I'll finish these all up after. But see, it's just a matter of like this one. <laughs> I had a bee. I have a little bee stamp, and I thought it was funny because I had a little word that says happy, so I just be happy. I added the bee as, you know, like that old concentration game they used to have on TV. I thought that was pretty funny. You know, this one I just added the word bliss. I mean, and if you want to add, oh, that's something else you can do too, guys. You can add, um, like, shimmer. You can sprinkle some on it while it's drying, or... Right after you, let me see if I can get a little bit on here. Okay, cover. Cooperate. If you want to add like a little bit of flair to your project, you can just sprinkle it on the top. It'll settle itself down in underneath while it's wet. So just to add a little bit of extra shine, you like bling like me. All right, so we have all that. I think I'm going to make these on my own. I just wanted to basically show you how I, my think process is when I'm doing these. Um, so use up your chipboard, use up your scrap papers, girls and guys. And um, yeah, don't waste them. You can definitely use them. Um, I will be doing some more of these on my own and I hope that was informative enough for you if not please leave your questions below um, I will be happy to answer them for you I will talk to you soon bye bye